As we are at the start of winter, I'd like to review and share with you these beautiful warm outfits made by Spoiled Brats Wear. Some dogs, such as Italian Greyhounds, can't deal with the cold as well as other more furry dogs. As you'll notice, Iggy's have short hair, not much of it, and they are prone to feel the cold nearly just as much as we do. So these outfits, they are nice, warm, and custom made. They are specialized to fit Italian Greyhounds, which is difficult to come across because of their long, slender bodies. And here's how you put one of these outfits on a dog. Arthur's gonna come and help him with him by feet. And she's gonna demonstrate this for you. So, you start by the head. I usually put my head through the snout. Hold her head and all the way through. Thank you, Arthur. And then once the head is through, you put in the legs, front legs first. One. And two. Come on, Arthur. Bring it up. And then pull the back all the way through. Um, sitting down is not going to help me put it on you, is it? So please stand up there, girl. Thank you. So, first back leg, you can sit down after. And second back leg. Now, features with these beautiful jackets is that one, they cover most of the body. They have enough space here for them to do their business, whether they're male or female. Um, I got the four legs, so it keeps them warm, especially if they have very thin, skinny legs. Uh, it keeps them nice and warm. I've got a hole here so to tie up your uh, lead if you're taking them for a walk and then they've got this beautiful hood which can be worn two ways so way number one is put it all the way on the head and these strings and just tie it up like this now this way look at the camera Arthur show everyone this way her ears are nice and warm and it's all covered but frankly Arthur really doesn't like it that way I'll do it with Audrey but not with her she prefers it the other way where you just fold it in and have it more of a turtleneck style um, so now we chose there was an option to use the to have black rims um, which we decided to choose because we like the idea of two tones but um, when they said black rims, I actually thought it would just be black trimmings here and there. But it's not what I would say is the nicest. If I had seen what it looked like, I probably would have just turned monotone and have just one color. But that's just a personal preference. Now, one of the issues that we have with these jackets, unfortunately, is the back legs. I'm sorry, Arthur, you're nice and comfy. Um, the back legs here, they come off. So what we do have to do to make sure it doesn't come off so easy is that we end up having it to roll a bit like we would roll bottom of some of your jeans if they're too long. So we do tend to have to roll them a bit um, so it doesn't come off so easy. But after a while, it will still come off. So that would be maybe a bit of a downfall for this outfit. Uh, this outfit is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So it's okay if you've got a bit of light snow and the snow's just a bit melty, but uh, on rainy days, um, this is not suitable. So what I found in Canada was these outfits. Um, uh, this one is Arthur's one. I've got one for Audrey, which fits completely on top. And Arthur, you have been so good and so comfortable, but now I've got to put this on you. So you're going to stand up. Now, it's a bit tricky to put these on. Um, these outfits are made by Silver Paw. I found this in Canada at a pet store. So, first, you put in the paws. And I really think this is not a very well done. Um, and they're velcroed, so undo the velcro first. That's a good idea. Put your other paw through Arthur. Thank you. You're being such a very good girl. I think she will be due for some treats after this. There you go. Okay. So I'll put the two front ones. 
but then I have to put on the back ones before I can finish putting it off. And what happens is that if she decides to walk, then the paws come out. So, back leg number one. Uh, we're usually also two doing this with her. And on Velcro. And that's back leg number two. Now, or number four at this point. Bring this all up. And there we go. The zipper, so the zipper is all the way along the back. And it goes along the back. And it velcros closed. So now she is all ready for a nice, cold, windy winter. So this is also good if it's really windy out because I would expect the wind to come go through the Bratzwear outfit, uh, but not through this really. And so once you're done, Velcro the legs nice and tight. I did find though, um, even with the Velcro on these, they do seem to sometimes tend to take, get their legs out of this. Um, just like the Bratzwear, it's got the exact same amount of hole underneath here. To let them do their um, business now it also features here you've got a poo bag dispenser so you can put your poo bags in here and they come out in here I don't know how many you can really put the holes a bit small there and of course it has a hole for your lead now the other issue is I don't have Audrey's one with me at the moment um, the um, the fact is that Audrey's one actually broke the zipper at the top, completely broke, and I can't put it on him. And that was only after using it twice. So you only got to wear it twice, it broke. Arthur's one is still okay. Um, I find that the legs, like the front legs are not long enough. They don't protect as much as the back legs. Um, the other thing is the uh, Velcro here doesn't really, doesn't stay so well. So for this outfit, um, from Silver Paws, we're giving it just a rating of two, so it's okay, but there's a lot of improvement needing. Um, for the outfit underneath, you can sit, I see. One feet. Now for the Bratswear outfit, we rated it at a four. If you want to know more about these outfits and view the range of clothes offered by Spoiled Bratswear, you'll find the link for their website in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please follow my channel.